senior civil servants have warned the return of hard border in Ireland would be inevitable in the event of a no-deal Brexit, though their claims have been dismissed as scaremongering by sources inside Boris Johnson's government. A leaked Whitehall report suggests Mr Johnson's hopes of using technological solutions and a can-do spirit to avoid a hard border would soon prove unsustainable. The so-called Yellow Hammer document warns of civil disorder when border communities respond with direct action and road blockades. Yellow Hammer reveals there will be no new checks, with limited exceptions on the border between Northern Ireland and the Republic. It says measures will be introduced to avoid an immediate risk of a return to a hard border on the UK side but predicts this is likely to prove unsustainable because of significant economic, legal and biosecurity risks and no effective mitigations to address this will be available. According to the leaked document, no deal would severely disrupt trade, it says. The expectation is that some businesses will stop trade to avoid paying the tariff, which will make them uncompetitive, or to avoid the risk of trading illegally, while others will continue to trade, but experience higher costs which may be passed on to consumers. It states, the agri-food sector will be the hardest hit, given its reliance on highly integrated cross-border supply chains and high tariff and non-tariff barriers to trade. Disruption to key sectors and job losses are likely to result in protests and direct action with road blockages. The classified document also claims no deal would lead to a booming black market which would be particularly severe in the border. Communities, where both criminal and dissident groups already operate, it says. Price and other differentials are likely to lead to the growth of the illegitimate economy. This will be particularly severe in border communities where criminal and dissident groups already operate with greater freedom. Officials have warned a no-deal Brexit could put 40. 000 jobs at risk in Northern Ireland with work in industries such as agri-food and haulage disappearing overnight. The Irish border has been a major sticking point since Brexit negotiations got underway. Theresa May's thrice rejected withdrawal agreement proposed the Irish backstop, which would keep the whole of the UK and the EU in a single customs territory if the two parties had failed to negotiate a future trade deal that kept the border open as it is today. Boris Johnson claims the backstop is undemocratic and wants the EU to ditch it and offer him a new deal. The bombshell secret yellow documents reveal how catastrophic failures to plan for a no-deal Brexit by successive Tory cabinet since the 2016 referendum have left Britain brutally exposed. A senior Whitehall source told the Sunday Times, This is not project fear, this is the most realistic assessment of what the public face with no deal. These are likely, basic, reasonable scenarios, not the worst case. But government sources claim the paper was leaked by Remain supporting former ministers to disrupt Mr Johnson's meetings with EU leaders next week. An insider said, it has been deliberately leaked by a former minister in an attempt to influence discussions with EU leaders. Those obstructing preparation are no longer in government. Two pounds billion of extra funding already made available and Whitehall has been stood up to actually do the work through the daily ministerial meetings. The entire posture of government has changed. Michael Gove, the Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster who is coordinating no deal planning, also hit back on Twitter saying, we don't normally comment on leaks, but a few facts, Yellow Hammer is a worst case scenario, he said, very significant steps have been taken in the last three weeks to accelerate Brexit planning.